I got really into signs uh, because I was very interested in the history and what I call the history from the 1930s through the 1950s was when America really grew going west. That's what people did to get work. They needed gasoline, they needed food, and they needed a place to sleep. So it was the beginning of motels. And all of these people advertised by neon signs. And when I grew up, you'd see neon signs everywhere. And then all of a sudden, they began to disappear. It changed the way America worked. So I wanted to capture that period. I'd hunt down the people that were finding them, people that find signs. And they are amazing people. There are very few people that understand how neon works. And we just happen to have a local friend here, a mature guy who really knows neon. So he can help me with replacement of glass and the things that go with it. People love to come in here just to see the history. I mean, where else can you see Pepsi-Cola for a nickel? But every sign has got its story, just like a car. I've always been a Ford fan and I've been a student of Ford history. Henry Ford was an amazing person for a host of reasons. He was always somebody important in my life and my thinking. And you put that together with the Ford Flathead V8 and it becomes a love affair of Ford's and the meaning of Ford and Flathead. I like uh, Ford history and I like all the things that Henry Ford Sr. did and what his son Edsel did. And Edsel was one of the more incredible people in the whole world. But he brought all these things you're looking at around here to be. Convertibles, Woodies. They were the things that everybody coveted, but they turned them into something else. And uh, when you got into 37 Fords and 39 Fords and 40 Fords, uh, they were all turned into hot rods. And that's why there's not many around. And when you get into even 49s and 50s, they're very hard to find. So I grabbed the best that I could find and said, okay, now I'll restore them. And that's where the fellows that do the restoration care about that. They want them exactly as they were. They take pride in that. The Glasser was an incredible car to find it in one piece, to be able to have the responsibility of restoring it properly, to study Ford history in Germany and in Europe was really something. And that combined with German engineering because Ford had to build all the parts in Germany, and did. And then when we went to Pebble Beach, they all thought it was a Mercedes. It was on the headline of the local paper, it was a Mercedes. I enjoy the hunt, I enjoy the history of the car, I enjoy the condition of the car, and I enjoy the restoration of the car. With all that said, I'll never build another collection as thorough as this. And that was a labor of love. I love cars. So I really hope they go to people that enjoy them, like I have. And that's why we're doing it.